Avances in, advances in the Coterniculture Production System La cotornicultura es otra área de la avicultura. Cotornicultura es another area of poultry farming whose purpose is to raise, improve and promote the production of quails and take advantage of their products, eggs, meat and quail. In the last decade, cotern farming has shown significant growth, since poultry entrepreneurs see in this livestock activity broad marketing possibilities, specifically with varieties such as the Japanese quail, of great interest due to its characteristics of precocity and good posture. Para lograr una buena productividad en... To achieve good productivity in a Coternicola project, good planning and strict control of management practices in terms of nutrition and health must be carried out. En zona rural del municipio de Fuente de Oro, Metas, In a rural area of the municipality of Fuente Oro, Metar, there is a small Coternicola farm, Ariari Quail, which has an approximate number of 5,000 birds and whose purpose is the production of eggs to make the project profitable. Additionally, a multiplication program for the species is managed through a programmed reproduction process. Here the process is 14 days of incubation, two to three days of birth, and they already enter a heated breeding unit in the first week. During the second week, that quail is already feathered because I use a chick pre-starter. Sí, que es un producto que tiene el 24%. A product that has 24% protein point. It is very important to raise animals with a pre-starter. Dependiendo de la alimentación, depending on the diet, quails have several stages of development that are relatively short, allowing the cotton hulling livestock business to be profitable, since the poultry farmer obtains the return on his investment in a short time. The quail should normally start production at 42 to 45 days. I have animals that start production at 35 days because I provide good nutrition at the start of the quail. I do not use coccidiostats in the food as happens with food as a chick, then I do not block the sexual maturity of the birds. De las aves. Entonces, so, you have to see that that quail, depending on how you feed it and the amount of food you give it, le va a perdurar en el tiempo, will last over time or its existence will be shorter. But you have already thrown away all the eggs it needs. A quail is programmed to shed 300 eggs a year, 80%. Con la etapa de producción del huevo, la... With the egg production stage, the quails begin to repay the poultry farming investment. Good production is obtained with a food specially designed based on protein and nutrients essential for its production. Vale la pena destacar que it is worth noting that quail do not produce two eggs a day as was once believed. Pues hay, hay que dan solo 20 gramos. There are quail farmers who give only 20 grams. I supply 25 grams because quail generally waste food and I have established that they are more or less wasting between 2 and 3 grams. So they have a consumption of 22 grams, and with this they obtain the protein point to produce the egg. You have to give it at least 25 grams of protein a day, that's 18 hours. So you shouldn't believe in that myth that quail lays two eggs a day. Como dijo el, por allá el señor Serpa, ¿sí? Mamola. Porque no alcanza, si lo pone, lo pone en tela el segundo. If he manages to put it, it is on cloth because the shell is the one that takes the longest to produce. When the eggs start to hatch, it is because there is a calcium deficiency. Una deficiencia en calcio. Si usted le da poca comida, ella en todo momento va a estar... If you give her little food, she will be stressed and greedy at all times. And then there is high competition for food consumption in the cage. There will be quails that eat more and others that eat less, others that don't even eat, and those that die of starvation in the cage. The quail management guides first said 12 months with 300 eggs, that is, with 80% of the general average production per year. 
¿sí? Ahorita lo han alargado un poquito, ¿sí? 14 meses. Now they have extended it to 14 months. The breeders do this as advertising to sell their raised quail because if they do not teach them what the feeding program is so that it lasts 14 months or 16 months. They will look like liars because many quails reach 10 months and fall off. 50% in production. When a farmer sees that production drops below 60%, ya empieza a perder plata porque están comiendo demasiadas. He already begins to lose money because they are eating too many in relation to what they are putting in. So the money is not seen. Yo tengo solo eh, dos echadas de comida al día. I only have two meals a day, 60% at 8 in the morning of those 25 grams and 40% at 8 at night, 12 hours apart. Del 40% de la comida no he hecho sino dos comidas al día. I only make them two meals a day. I am not constantly entering the shed so as not to be stressing the chickens. First I have classical music for them to relax. I don't have dogs because a bark can represent a drop in production. Once the quail production cycle is finished, its meat may or may not be used depending on the commercial vision of each producer. That depends on who is efficient. Many people when they know that their production has dropped and that they need the unoccupied cages to have the new replacement, what they do is vote for them or give them to the neighbors and consume part of them. What others do is sell them to those refrigerators that make sausages. These people take advantage and buy the final product at a very low price. The quail farmer sells that meat to earn some money from the quail. Many uses only the breast of the quail because it has the most meat. Another advantage of quails is that they do not require a vaccination plan, however, it is essential to provide them with 100% drinking water to avoid diseases. The ICA has not established a vaccination program for quail at the national level. They have a very good immune system. However, they also get sick. If you give him bad water, it can give him colobacillosis, edop coli or salmonella. It is important to use a water purifier to treat it and remove the impurities that are soluble solids because they are hard loaded with magnesium minerals and high levels of this cause diarrhea in animals. By having wet beds at all times, it will attract flies massively and we will not be able to control them, this if the mat is full of wet fecal matter. At the Ariari quail farm, they implemented a system to control the fly with simple traps and additionally compost the feces to produce quail with which an excellent fertilizer and some nutritional supplements for livestock are obtained. One of my processes is that I use efficient microorganisms like LM. In one centimeter per liter of water I fumigate the material, turn it over and pack it in half tarps. Every day we repeat the process. I have a probe thermometer that can read up to 60 degrees when it is cool and it self-combusts, killing everything that is inside, eggs, fly larvae, pupae and even flies hatch inside that bag. Inclusive llegan a nacer moscas dentro de esa bolsa. But they remain trapped there. That is, it is a biological control for the fly. Te hace palatable la cotornaza cuando le mezcla con melaza. To adapt the animal to quail, it is initially mixed with molasses, but the time comes when it can be fed without molasses. 
I have had that experience here. I have a photo where you can see the cattle eating quail. There comes a time when the cattle eat it. You supplement corn silage and add 300 or 400 grams of quail. Se desapareció la cotornaza. ¿A dónde va? A la panza. ¿Qué? Es una cuba de fermentación bacteriana. It is a bacterial and protozoan fermentation vat, where the ammonia type nitrogen that I give to the animal as bacterial protein is split. Como, ni, como proteína bacteriana. In recent years in Colombia, this livestock activity has intensified due to the growing demand for the delicious and nutritious quail egg, becoming a business opportunity for entrepreneurs and rural families who manage to develop an economic, profitable and sustainable activity with cotterniculture.